In this video, I'm going to give an overview of starting a document in Adobe InDesign CS6 and just give an overview of some of the new features that are available. I'm also going to be making future videos on some other aspects of the program, including making an interactive PDF. Before you can make an interactive PDF, before you do that, you may want to understand some of the features offered in Adobe InDesign CS6, though. So that's what this video is all about. Um, first of all, you can create a new document by clicking on New Document right here, or you can make a new document by going to File, New, Document. And you'll see some changes right here. If you've used InDesign in the past, you'll see a few changes. First of all, under intent there's now a web intent which was also in CS5 and there's a digital publishing intent so that's a little different um, in the past we didn't have tablets so that wasn't a real need um, but now we can make a web page just like you could in CS5 um, you have the page size right here and typically 1024 by 768 fit the I guess average screen size and screens are getting bigger so you have bigger screen size that are set there and you can of course change that right here but you also have digital publishing now the there's two major differences in digital publishing and web they're both for digital use um, the first thing you'll notice is the page sizes are different um, so instead of being measured in pixels they've just gone ahead and preset these to iPhone, iPad, Kindle and Android so those, I guess, are what they decided to make this for. Um, so you can choose one of those, and you can make an iPad size document here. The second thing you'll see this different is primary text frame is changed. I'm going to show you what that does in a second. Um, really, other than that, web and and uh, digital publishing are pretty much the same and print of course has been around for a while if you're going to make a print document that's the best choice for you and you can always click more options to change your bleed slug columns margins and all of that I'm going to go ahead and go to digital publishing and, and show you what that changed that primary text frame is really the biggest change here and so let me go to my pages um, window or, or panel so I went to window pages to open up the and the pages panel and you'll see this little drop down box right here and um, you click on this little drop down menu and it says create alternate layout so what happens is when you create an iPad document right now this would be a horizontal iPad document you see it says iPad H H means horizontal um, when you would have graphics on here you can create an alternate layout which would be basically as InDesign usually guesses correctly now I'm creating a new iPad vertical layout so it will automatically label that or rearrange your items for you and I'll need to put some things down and I'll show you that in just a second to show you those two alternate layouts side by side but that's what that's changing um, so you can set that up here and when you hit OK you'll see that come to life over here in the pages panel um, before I do that though let me just take a step back I'm going to do edit undo and show you some of the other other ways to look at the new features in Adobe CS6. Um, as you noticed here, um, some of my menu items are highlighted in blue and some of them are purple. If you go to Window Workspace and check the new in CS6 box here, all of your menus light up. So it's pretty neat. All of your menus light up in different colors wherever they have updated something for CS6. So check that out it's not time I don't want to cover everything in this video um, there's not really that much time I want to uh, spend on this one video but you can check that out changed a lot as you can see in CS6 so let me go back and I'm gonna actually open up a document that I have created here and so in this document I've just opened this is a review of an imaginary device for um, actually this is a project seminar I gave um, a while back but um, the point is in the project itself it's basically slides I made um, kinda like you do in PowerPoint um, but it's size letter so I didn't really set this up originally to be a a um, web publishing document if you want to change that you can go to the menu I just went to and you have a few restrictions if you do it this way you might be better off cutting and pasting each page um, but but you see this intent was for print originally I can go to web and I have the web setting and I can go to digital publishing right here I can't check primary text frame but I can do more options and change my bleeding slug and I can change my size to iPad if you do change your size of course your whole document size is going to change 
and you might see that um, change some of your layout so I'm not gonna do that quite yet um, I'm gonna undo that so my document size this is out to the side really I don't need um, I'm just gonna leave it like it is but what but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this little menu right here and choose create alternate layout and it's going to guess I letter excuse me instead of iPad it's gonna do letter vertical and my for, source is letter horizontal so if you have multiple sources you can do that or you can change that to all pages um, page size you can change that around as well if you don't want it to be exactly a letter size or a whatever size and you can change this liquid page rule I'm gonna cover the liquid page rules in another video uh, so, so, so be sure to check that out um, it does preserve existing that's usually what you want um, but I'll do that again in another video hit OK once you get all those settings done it's going to take a second and it's going to create your vertical page layout so you see both of them um, side by side so if I double click the other one I see it If you double click the first one you see it so you see the difference there if you were to turn your iPad sideways it would cut off what you see um, cut off by this line and as you see on this one um, it's cutting off the edges and rearranging everything on that one it's good to go so you have some things you might have to adjust now check out my video on the liquid page layout because when you do this part it's really going to streamline all of your work when you, if you do a pa liquid page layout um, rather than having to worry about adjusting each page now let me show you one more thing before I do the liquid page layout video before you go to that um, if you go down here to the bottom you can there's a little it's kind of hard to see there's a little button right here it says click when you hover over it says click to see um, the split view layout if you click that it will show you two spreads side by side and you can readjust your window as you need to and on your click on your right side just once and then you can double click the vertical layout or vice versa and when you scroll through these you can look at your page layouts side by side um, so you can see how everything is arranged and if you need to adjust one or the other now you'll notice right here I have a little lock icon by my design so if you're writing a big magazine or a big article or big presentation like you see here um, you might want to adjust a few words here and there so for example under final analysis I might want to change this to say final um, project analysis so let me go back to the original and I'll just type in the word project and you see that it has now an exclamation mark where it used to have that link button if you just click on that little exclamation mark with your selection tool go to your selection tool the black arrow click on it once you see it updates so real easy real quick to update your selection now I also see that this size is not quite correct. I have the F coming off the page and my words are going off the page and my check boxes are off the page. So that's where I really need to adjust my liquid page layout really before I do this step. So I'm going to go back to the liquid page layout so be sure to check out that video and then I'm going to redo this so everything makes full sense.